Welcome to Sonata Secrets and this series about Frosa Flowers by Wilhelm Perusson Berger. The fourth piece in book three is a fun and lively piece. Well, it's in the title, folk humor or folk humor. It has a kind of heavy feeling from the folk music tradition. Um, it's in triple time and we have a rhythmic emphasis on the first and third beat in each bar. So that gives it this feeling. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. That's a typical Swedish folk music feeling in some sense. We have a kind of a main theme with a very moving right hand, this one. And then there are some episodes and this theme returning, uh, kind of back and forth a bit. And there's a really nice place where the C minor transforms to C major and we get some nice long lines and notes just flowing like this. Very, very nice. So all of these dotted rhythms, I think I kind of do them not so strict, uh, more like almost a triplet. Because I think you just get, need to get the feeling right. Doesn't matter so much the exact rhythm. So here comes folk humor. Now this piece, number five, The Call of the Wild, or Vildmarken Lockar, I have a slightly hard time connecting the title to the music. I suppose that it's the first section, we have a quite spacious and inviting and mystical and intriguing, that's The Call of the Wild, this melody. It's only presented in unison, in an octave, in both hands. But even so, it's more of the tame wild than the wild wild. It's not so adventurous, but really nice feeling and sonorities throughout this. We have a really cool mechanism in the right hand with a falling fifth starting from this high note and then falling over the whole register. Just like that. And then the melody in the left hand. coming down really cool effect then there's a middle section we have a transformation from the tonic minor to major which is a mechanism that you should start to recognize by now because Phil and Persenberger uses it in many pieces so we we land on the C sharp minor and then it's transformed to D flat major 
And in the middle section, we have these chords that you can say they're ninth chords and 11th chords and 13th chords. But another way to say it is that Pedersenberger is just stacking thirds on top of each other into chords. And uh, we just see what happens when we have those chords underneath the melody. It's very nice things that happens. And then after the lovely middle section, we hear the call of the wild again. Thanks for watching Sonata Secrets, and the Patreon shoutout in this episode goes to Bang Nagoyan. For the full series on Frasa flowers, check out the playlist on the right, and consider subscribing for more analysis videos like this unlocking the world of classical music.